Okay, so we're set up. We'll be using some of this later to teach some of the things in the article. But we begin by saying it's important to be polite at parties. Yeah, that sounds like the number one thing I should remember. <laughs> so to explain what that means, let's take a look at the adjective polite. P O L I T E, polite, which is our first word power word for the day. So, if a person is polite, it means they are behaving in a way that is socially correct and shows understanding of and care for other people's feelings. You can say doing something is polite. You can call a person polite. For example, Tom is a polite boy. He always greets his teacher. With a smile, Tom is a polite boy. He always greets his teacher with a smile. Polite 这个形容词呢是礼貌的。那相反的，没有礼貌的或粗鲁的，我们可以说 impolite 或者是 rude、mm。-hmm. 那我们例句说到呢 ，Tom 是个有礼貌的男孩，他总是微笑和老师打招呼。今天的文章一开始呢，告诉我们说啊，在 parties， 也就是晚宴上面呢，有礼貌是很重要的。You don't want to be rude when you go to somebody's party. That is correct. But how do you be polite? What do you need to do? The article will explain. To help introduce the idea, it says the upcoming holiday season. Is a good time to practice your table manners. Now, the word "upcoming" means something that's in the very near future. It's almost here in the next few weeks or maybe a month. We say the upcoming holiday season because soon we'll have Thanksgiving, we'll have Christmas, Halloween, other things like that. Upcoming 这个形容词呢，就是即将来临的，所以 the upcoming season 就是即将来临的节庆季节。And you can use this time to practice your table manners. Yeah, let's take a look at the word manners. M A N N E R S manners, and it's always a plural when we're using it in this way. So it's always manners, not good manner. It's our next word power word, and so let's take a look at it. So when we talk about manners, we're talking about polite ways of treating other people and also of just behaving in public. We can talk about good manners, so that's polite things, and bad manners, things that are not polite. For example, if you've got your mouth full of food and you talk or you open it and show people the food in your mouth, that is really bad manners. Don't do that. In our example sentence, we've got one of good manners. It says. It's good manners to take off your shoes before you go into someone's home. It's good manners to take off your shoes before you go into someone's home. Manners 这个名词呢是礼仪规矩。那记得哦，字尾要加上 s 才是礼仪规矩的意思。那我们例句说啊，在进入他人的住宅之前脱下鞋子是 good manners， 是个有礼貌的行为。So what exactly are table manners? Well, table manners means all the polite things to do when you're having dinner with a group, or even just with one person. So, table manners means things to do with sitting, eating, sharing food, what to do with all this stuff, and so on. Got it. Table manners 就是餐桌礼仪，所以呢，我们可以趁这个即将来临的季节，好好练习我们的餐桌礼仪。Let's look at some good table manners. Yeah, the article has a number of good things to do. Number one is you should dress nicely for a dinner party. Now here, the word dress is being used as a verb, and it means put on clothes. You dress every day after you get up, and so dress nicely means put on nice clothes. 以前我们学的 dress 都是名词，洋装，对不对？那这边呢 ，dress 当动词用，也就是 put on clothes， 穿衣服的意思。所以在晚宴里面呢、啊，你应该好好的打扮，穿着得体的衣服赴约。But that's not the only thing to do before a party, right? Right. The article adds more about this and says, bring a gift for the host or hostess, and remember to be on time. We use the word host. Generally, means a man could mean a woman, but a hostess is always a woman. And the host or hostess is the person whose house the party is at and who has organised everything. 
host 这个名词呢是男主人或是男主持人，那 hostess 就是女主人或者是女主持人。所以呢，去参加晚宴的时候，记得带礼物给主人哦，而且。Be on time, 要准时 Being on time is very important. You、mm -hmm. don't want to show up too early or show up too late. Definitely not. Next, the article says, turn off your phone and keep it out of sight during the party. Now, in that sentence, we use the verb keep, K E E P, keep, which is our next word power word. So, keep is the verb, and the past tense is. Kept, K E P T. Same with the P P. Keep, kept, kept. And to keep means to stay in a particular place or condition, or cause something to stay in a particular place or condition. So we could say Polly keeps herself warm, meaning she stays warm. Polly keeps herself warm in the winter with a jacket, sweater, and hat. Polly keeps herself warm in the winter with a jacket, sweater, and hat. Keep 这个动词呢是保持的意思，可以是保持在某个位置，或者是保持某种状态。那三态变化 ，keep, kept, kept。例句说 ，Polly 在冬天穿外套、毛衣和帽子来保暖。So make sure you turn off your phone， 将手机关机 ，and keep it out of sight. What does keep something out of sight mean? Well, if something is out of sight, no one can see it. If you keep something out of sight, you put it where no one can see it and make sure it stays there. So this means putting your phone in your pocket or your coat or your handbag, not putting it on the table or keeping it in your hand. Sight 这个字呢是视线，所以呢 ，to keep something out of sight 就是将某物放在视线之外，也就是眼睛看不到的地方。那在晚宴里头呢，要将手机放在视线之外。It means you can't use your phone at a dinner party. No, that would not be good manners. However, if you think you might need to answer an important call from work or your family, then that's probably okay. You just shouldn't be playing games or surfing the net or messaging other people. You should be talking to the other party guests. Yes, 不要在晚宴的时候当低头族，要跟别人互动才对。If you want to play games on your phone, you should just stay at home. That's right. Well, our article now moves on to tip number two, which is at dinner keep a napkin, which is this, on your lap. During the meal, so your lap is kind of your stomach and the upper parts of your legs, but it's only when you're sitting down, like we are. So it's this bit. So a napkin on your lap means like that. There we go. Lap 是大腿的前侧，所以在吃饭的时候呢，记得将餐巾放在大腿前侧。What if I need to get up? Well, the article has the answer. If you need to get up. Place the napkin on your chair's seat. So I would get up and put it there, like that. Here we used an if clause in the article. An if clause tells you the result of a particular situation. If this happens, this will happen as a result. Or if this is true, this is also true. If 是如果的意思，带出一个假设的状况。如果你要起身。Place the napkin on your chair's seat. We also use the word "place" as a verb here.、Mm -hmm. Of course, a place—that's a noun. But to place something somewhere means to put something in a place, but carefully. So you don't just go, "Oh, drop it on my chair." You put it there very nicely. You place it there. 以前我们学呢 ，place 是个名词，代表地方。现在在这里，它当动词用，代表的是放置。So put the napkin on your chair seat when you get up. 当你要起身的时候，将餐巾放在椅子座位的地方。Like here. Yeah. Again. So I get up. Say, excuse me, I'm going to the bathroom. I'll put the napkin on my chair when I come back. Good manners.、Okay. There we go. And the article goes on to say. Put it back on your lap after you sit down again. 回来坐下的时候，记得将餐巾放回你的大腿上。What about when you've finished eating? Well, the article says after the meal is done, 
place your napkin, there's the verb again, place, place your napkin to the left of your plate, so here, okay, there's my plate, that's the left side, that's the right side, so here. Now, in that sentence, we also use the word done, D-O-N-E, done, and here it's an adjective. It's our last word power word, so let's check out what it means. The word done means the same as finished or completed. So we could say, after Ruth was done with her homework, she watched TV. After Ruth was done with her homework, she watched TV. Done 这个形容词呢是结束的、做完的。那可能有同学会想到说，哎，它不是就是 do 的第三态吗？没错 ，do、did、done。那我们现在把第三态 done 过去分词拿过来当形容词用。那例句说呢 ，Ruth 做完作业之后，她就看电视。Now, as again, we also saw we should place our napkin to the left of our plate. So this doesn't mean on the left side of our plate. We don't put it on it. We put it next to the plate, and it's on the left side, not the right. So again, if you have your napkin on your lap, the meal is done. You might wipe your mouth, fold the napkin up nicely, and put it to the left of your plate, just like that. 晚宴结束后呢，你不能餐巾一丢就走人，记得将它放在你的盘子左侧。To 这个介系词呢，指的是在某个方向。To the left of your plate 代表的就是在你盘子的左边。All right, well that is the end of the first part of today's article. We're now going to go to our magic box, and when we come back, we'll be doing today's wrap up. <laughs> 